And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within the Long War Mod. We're back. Got a bunch of stuff building. So, uh, not much else for us to do. We don't have any money. Uh, we want to build a satellite uplink as soon as we can, but we need cash for that. We do have enough engineers now, thankfully. So to get cash, we're a scan. Do some missions. Got a laser rifle coming in, which is pretty nice. Ah, uh, it's a medium UFO. Man, they're all over me. I do have planes available, so let's do that. If we can shoot this down, it would be pretty sweet. Even better if we don't have to actually go in there, but... I don't think we have enough firepower to actually take this down proper. Oh man, it's gonna take my... Get out of there, man. Alright. Can't actually take that down. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Um, he's probably just gonna kill all my planes if I try and keep going, huh? So I think it's better just to let it ride. So we're going to do that. Uh, they want eight sectoid corpses for a scientist. Yee... Mm, that's a lot. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take a scientist. I like scientists. Alright, something finished. Oh, one of my labs finished. Excellent. Carry on. Did that speed up my research? Yeah, advanced beam lasers, four days. That's pretty awesome. Uh, get an engineer for weapon fragments. Not now, I want my fragments. It's a small scout class. I think we can actually take this out. It's where to go after it. Hopefully we do better than the medium size. Hopefully. Get him. We're in pursuit. We don't have any mods or anything Closing yet for our aircraft, which is pretty bad. But all we really need is lasers. Got a hit on them. Uh, do I keep chasing? One more chase. It is a scout. So we don't really need to take him down, but it'd be nice to. Come on, buddy. Alright, took him down. Uh, got light damage, no survivors, minimal salvage. But we got a cash bounty. How much cash did we get? Didn't even say. Not much. Not much at all. Probably wasn't worth it. Gonna go ahead and just assume it wasn't worth it. But we have an abduction now. We're receiving Over in Egypt, and it's a light abduction, so let's set up the crew. Alright, I think we're pretty good well set up. We have a scout with a battle scanner, a infantryman with high capacity magazines and armor, a uh, rocketeer with a shredder, Assault with an AP, sniper with the scope, and a uh, specialist engineer with grenade, grenadier, 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 grenadier. And he's got his uh, grenades, so obviously that's a good choice. Um, everyone's a spec except for my sniper. We don't have a spec sniper that is not fatigued or some weird stuff, so we just have to roll with it. So that's what we're gonna do. And that's fine. We have two other. Uh, <laughs> Man, I always forget the name Lance Corporal. We have two other Lance Corporal snipers sitting in the base, so we're fine with that. Let's start our assault. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. This is the port. Man, those trees don't look real. Oh yeah, this guy. Okay. Man, I haven't played this mission, like this map, in so long. It's been a really long time. So we're on the upper half, and there's a lower section down there, so we have height advantage over there, but at the same time, they usually spawn over here, too. So, this is a tricky place. Where's our scout? Scout's gonna move... Oh man, it's not a whole lot of full cover, either. Scout's gonna run up here. Okay. Uh, usually, uh, they spawn in... Well, like, long work randomized where the pods spawn, but usually it's, like, around here, or up back here, and then more down there. So, I think we'll be okay if we just post up here for a turn, just to, like, get our bearings. I want to get my sniper in a pretty good spot. So, where are you, sniper? Uh, you have the, uh, low-profile perk, so you're in full cover if you're in half cover, which is very nice. I really like that a lot. I'm thinking here? Okay. I'm just gonna get ready for contact on this side. And we can always shift over if we have to. You're gonna stay your aim. You're at Overwatch. And let's see. Engineer man. Engineer. Do I dash you up? Do we just stick together? 
I think we just stick together for now, so I'm actually going to dash you. Huh? I'll just put you right here. That's not that bad. That's nah, fine. Going Overwatch. Rocketeer, you need to move up here. Moving to position. Ooh, steady aim, in case you have to fire a rocket. You can go on Overwatch this turn. And infantry. I put my infantry with a laser rifle just for the heck of it. I'm going to run you... Oh, man. Got I'll put it. you here, Move too. It. It's all half cover, which is a really bad idea. But we kind of want to get our bearings to just see what's going on. So if you hear anything, that'd be great. And we don't. Which is kind of scary. A little scary. All right, so we're going to move our scout up this way. Still nothing. Which is fine by me. It's throwing on Overwatch right away. Uh, Engineer. Do I want to try and pop a wave over here if I can? Don't really want to at all, ever. I'm going to put you in full cover back here. We're just going to rely on your throwing arm for the main part. And then next turn you can run up here, which will be very nice. Speaking of running up there, my Rocketeer can get over here. Get some vision. No, I guess no. No extra vision. That's kind of strange. Steady Uranium. And my Assault Man. Just dash ahead here. Shouldn't be too, too dangerous. And infantry can move up here, since you're in half cover anyway. And sniper, you'd be sniping. So far, nothing going on. Oh, there are aliens over there. Kind of figured that would happen. Oh, we hear people. We hear skitter scattering over there, which makes me kind of nervous to keep moving this way. Actually, really don't want to move that way anymore, but uh, I need you to at least make me feel better and uh, clear out this side. So we know there's nothing there. But do we move? I don't think we need to move ahead for that. I think we might just post up here, actually. Uh, Will Brown. Moving out. We might actually overwatch for a turn just to play it safe, because I, I heard guys, like, right here. How about infantry? You run up here and see if you see anything right away. And you don't. You wouldn't unless you got up here. But I like that spot, in case something shows up. You can overwatch. You can overwatch. And you can overwatch. You too, man. Well, no, you go here. Take a look. Got a little bit more vision. Nothing happening over there. That's fine. Like, I really wonder if the skitter scatter in my headphones, like, if I hear it over here, if it actually is over there, or if that's just, like, my imagination. <laughs> oh, boy. Where should I... Hmm, let's see. Where's my scout? Scout should pop up right here, trying to get vision on something. Still nothing. Now I'm just terrified. Because I don't know where anything is. That's not good. I think I might drop my sniper back next turn. I can move you here. Do I? Mm. I'm gonna move you here. Seems like a better idea. Okay, nothing. I really want to clear that out. Can't stress that enough. That's got to be cleared back there before we actually move onward. So you're gonna fall back. basically here and I know I'm going really slow but it pays off to go pretty slow in the long run it gets a little boring at the beginning but it pretty much pays off for itself and uh, not losing men right away so we're gonna open this door and take a look yeah they're right over there for sure I hear nothing over here. Okay. Open this door. Take a look. Nothing. Okay. That's what I thought. That's the end of the level. So do I just run a guy over there and take a look? I think I do. So how about you just take a peek? Just take a quick peek. Heading there now. Nothing. 
if I snipe from up here, will I get vision down there? That's an interesting thought. Not sure if that happens Roger like that, that, but, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that whole back area is clear now. Which makes me feel a lot safer to actually, uh, start engaging over on this end. So, my infantry's gonna move here. Twice. And overwatch. You're gonna steady your aim. Do I split up? I don't think I should split up. I think we should all, like, kind of bunch back together. We, Because we know this is safe, so we're gonna move all back here. So, you move back here. I'm on it, Commander. All right, I feel good about that. I feel good about keeping everybody generally together. And not splitting up too, too much. I do want you to move up closer so you can move Standing further ahead next location. turn. As long as we're not engaged, you don't have to be in full cover right now. And you can get in full cover here. So now we gotta start actually pushing forward. Which I'm torn on how exactly I should engage this. The last time I played this map, I had half my squad here and half my squad here, and nearly everybody died. So I kind of don't want to do that again. The dying part, anyway. The dying part, not my favorite. Um, I'm going to get my scout aye, aye. to try and see something. Here they come. There we go. Got some seekers. Seekers aren't too bad. Do I have a shot? I do have a shot. Which is pretty nice. No one else has a shot, though, I bet. Oh, my sniper does. 76, go ahead and take that. Why not? I prefer she take the shot, because her overwatch is at close range are real bad, so there's no actual point in overwatching her for that. You're gonna overwatch. You're gonna overwatch. You're gonna move up and overwatch, because cover doesn't matter too much with Seekers. You're gonna move all the way back, because uh, I don't want you alone. 10-4. Being off by yourself with Seekers around is probably the worst thing you could possibly do. So they may come to us. Hopefully. They can move pretty far. I don't know if they can make it in this turn or not, though. I can hear them. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Rocketeer. You're going to come up here. Affirmative. Overwatch. My salt. You just come here in Overwatch to try and cover him. And you'll cover him. And you'll also cover him. I like that. People watch each other's backs. It's good teamwork. Rolling. How about you move on this end to see if you see anything else? Alright. Drones and Seekers. Not the most threatening enemies. Do I try? I mean, I have... I don't know if I should even take the shot. It's kind of a waste. I kind of want to steady your aim first, so I'm going to steady your aim. And you're going to go on Overwatch, I believe. Good to go. Well, you can come here. And then Overwatch. And you'll Overwatch. And you will Overwatch. Nah, you'll steady your aim. Because we have Seekers and those guys coming after us. Everyone's already watching each other's backs, so it's not too bad. If that guy takes a shot from that distance and hits, I will be... Okay, he's not actually shooting. I was going to say, if he could actually snipe me from that far, I'd be super angry. We got a nice graphical glitch going on, and we just smoked that Seeker, too. That, that makes me feel good. Plan's working out. Hopefully the second Seeker isn't coming right away. Drones are falling back. Now they're moving up. Popping an Overwatch. Pretty terrible shot. That was worth it. Pretty much worth it. I think they're all just taking to the sky and coming over. Alright, so. 38. 38. Pretty bad. Brown, you have a shotgun, so you have an even worse chance to hit. I could just move you up. I might just move them all the way up here. Meh. I can move him back here. It's a dash. Won't be able to make another action, but he'll be closer by to the rest of the squad, which is uh, way worth it. 45%, go ahead and take that. You also have two shots, but you don't need them, because you're awesome. Thank you. Kill confirmed. Might as well just have you reload. Nah, I'll have you overwatch, because we have another Seeker coming. You have a squad sight shot on him, so go ahead and take that. Pop that drone down. Disappointing. Pretty sore about that. That's okay. 
56 or 56. Take the 56. Only two damage. Nah. We're not in trouble yet. Okay. You can come over here and probably get a shot on one of them. 41. Give it a shot. Oh, it was so close. It was so nearby. Uh, Rocketeer. You're going to Overwatch for the Seeker's sake. Even though the drones will probably proc it before the Seeker does. Pretty sure there's three Seekers. Yeah, that's probably the Overwatch. Might as well have just taken a shot. It would have been a higher percent chance. But, you know. You learn from your mistakes. There we go. Nailed it with an Overwatch, but he's not dead. Because it is a, a uh, Commander Seeker. So Rocketeer strangled. That's okay. That's not the worst thing that could happen. If we have our assault right here, he can just run up and murder him. Drone coming over. And falling back. Alright, that's very strange. I wonder if the AI is, like, came over here and then saw the other soldiers and was like, Oh, nope. That's kind of an interesting question. I wonder if the, they actually share vision or not. So let's see. I gotta get my assault here. I can run and gun him if I don't have a good enough shot. But I do want to take this guy out in one shot. 63. It's not really that great. Um, we'll run and gun. Get him right next to him. So, 83. Only damaged him. Didn't kill him. You have one shot left, it's 58%, or you reload, so you might as well just take the shot. And you got him. Alright, Seekers are down. Now we just have a few drones left. 56% chance. Go ahead and take that. Please kill him. Nah. Sniper's not having the best luck today. Don't see anyone else yet. Don't really want to move up either. Uh, you're gonna reload. Let's rock. You're gonna reload. Good to go. You can take... Do you take the shot? I think you... No, I think you just... You might as well take the shot, because if you overwatch, he's just gonna pop it anyway. And it would have been even an even worse chance to hit. Just like last turn. So, yeah, he probably would have popped it. And here he comes. Double move. Is he taking a shot? I don't think he can shoot. Just kind of hanging out. Nope, there's the other drone. That's what was happening. Nope. Got a shot. So she panicked. It's not the biggest deal. Uh, my Rocketeer, 53. My Assault. Can probably get, like, right up here. If he needs to. Uh, what's my Sniper doing? Sniper's got a shot, 55. It's not the best. Infantry, 50. Take the 50. <clears throat> you get a second shot, too. So you might as well just take that right away. Damn it. Enemy is still there we go. So you have one drone left. Uh, sniper's gonna overwatch. Assault. It's gonna come up here. And overwatch. And rock tier. There's no thin men, so I feel okay. Putting you right here to get vision to shoot this man. That's 86. All right, easy kill. Mission's not quite over yet. It's to be expected. We're just gonna do some reloading. Crap! Here come the thin men. All right, now we gotta spread back out. Right after I said that we shouldn't bunch up if there are thin men. That's okay. I actually need to get into better cover if we're gonna take these guys on. So you gotta get out of this half cover. But I don't want to lose vision. So I'm wondering if this guy even has vision from over there. Um, how do we do this? We can move our sniper up. She has full cover wherever she is. So you're going to come up here. You have sight. You need to come down and reload. No need to ask twice. Ready to we don't have any med kits on this mission, which is an oversight that I uh, took a calculated risk with that. I kind of want to level up my guys quicker, and not necessarily all my medics right away. I'd rather have the more uh, damage dealing guys get done first. How do I move you? I can dash you over here. Well, first I'm going to move you right here in full cover. 
They probably don't even have vision of you, and I'm gonna reload you. Do I keep you here? I think I keep you here for now, just in case. I'll steady your aim. You're the most threatened. Can I get a rocket off? That'd be pretty sweet. That's a terrible rocket. There's another one back here, though. Do I just take the shot anyway? It's gonna be four tiles, so one, two, three, four. Like, it's gonna... It can go wide. Super wide wild. So how about I take the risk and just steady your aim. And hopefully they don't run around too much. They probably will. Um, you're gonna run down here. Because the only chance he's gonna have to hit is to actually get down there and get close. So... Okay. So far, the, the gamble... Gamble paid off so far. They're not moving. Well, that one is. Don't get killed. Okay, acided. I'm glad I moved her out of the way. That's fine. He's not going to move anyway, except now he has an even worse accuracy because of that. Which is unfortunate, but I think we'll live. Oh, I got doubled acided. Okay. It's actually not too terrible. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's telling me again that there's acid. I don't... I know. <laughs> uh, can I fire a rocket? Is it better? Or is it still way bad? Okay, I can actually fire a rocket here with two tile scatter. It's a risk. Do I just do a shredder instead? Four damage. I'd rather do more damage. Yeah, we're going to take this rocket shot. Going hot. It's a hot gambit, but it could pay off. All right, well, we hurt one, and that, that van may explode. We took acid damage. Which is bad, but we'll just have to deal with that. I could run and gun, get down here, but he'll have no backup whatsoever at this moment. I mean, this guy could probably move on this That's side and see. No? It's really aggravating, actually. Um, how about you just steady? Assault. You're not gonna have a shot at all. My problem is that you're not gonna be able to hit anything. So how about... Here. Just get in there. You still don't have vision. They probably don't see him either. You gotta hang out until, uh, you're done with acid. Do you have a shot, or are you too acided? How much life do you have? You have enough life to actually take this shot, I think. Just go for it. Alright, it was worth- I think it was worth the risk. Just trying to do some damage. Didn't pay out. But that's life, you know. Uh, okay, so... My scout's gonna start moving ahead. Even though that's pretty ill-advised, given her current health situation, but she kinda has to get moving. He's overwatched now. He popped an overwatch. Nice. Alright. Scout's doing work. I like that. Alright, both are just overwatched. Acid clouds are clearing up, which is very nice. That could explode. Too bad it took till the end of the turn. Would have been nice to kill that thin man, but you know, it's okay. I do have another rocket. If I really want to. It only does four as well, so that guy wouldn't die. But it's also really inaccurate, so I'm not going to do that. You're actually going to hunker down. Can you run and gun and get these guys? Where'd the other one go? Oh, I only had vision on him because he was up. Okay, the other one's behind there. I can run and gun and get down here, but I don't have a great shot. We're gonna do it. Seeing so it here. Time to motor. Pop through overwatches, but he's dashing, so he should be okay. <laughs> Got a little double voice there, which is nice. So he should get around and back and hopefully flank one of them. And get a shot off. 65. Please kill him. Of course not. Alright, so he's in a lot of danger now. 
which is not fantastic. But my engineer... Oh, it's so close. You're so close. All right. Well, that's not going to work. Someone should come here and hunker down. Position confirmed. Or just throw a grenade from there. That actually works for me. Because I need to save my assault. So I'm going to use this. Throwing Hopefully kill that man. And hurt the other one. Wow, it didn't hurt him. It's okay, though. It's not over yet. Uh, you can come up here. Ah, oh, you're still acided. Okay, that's fine, though. 39%. It's pretty bad. You're at a hunker. And you're gonna hunker. And let's see. You're gonna sit back here and overwatch again. Yeah, if I would have moved her up, she would have been acided. And I want her to be okay. So I think my infantry is okay. Well, I can't tell if they're still, at, like, affected. I think they are. Do you have a better shot? No. Do you have a better shot? Oh, you can't even see. That's pretty bad. Um, Where's my salt? Mr. Brown. If you come here, you should have a flanking shot. So I'm going to do that. Yes, Commander. Just come over here. So 69% chance to hit. All right. Operational I like that. That was good. Completed. That was very good. We didn't lose anybody, which is the most important part. A lot of people got hurt, which is bad. Uh, we didn't get the meld, I don't think. Let's see. No, we didn't kill him fast enough to get the meld. We got Illyrium. We got some drone wrecks, which is nice. Sailing alloys is nice. Fragments are nice. Seeker wrecks are nice. Got some money. We Panic reduction. Touch, That's all really good. Let's see what's going on here. Get another laser rifle tomorrow. Be advanced beam lasers. We'll get those hooked up to our ships pretty soon. Which will kind of turn the tides in the air war once that's all set up. Uh, we do have 196 buckaroonies. Let's see what we can do. Can we build anything? How much does this cost anyway? Slide uplink. 200. So what we can do is probably sell some stuff. This is the gray market. And, uh, hmm. We only need a little. Let's see, a drone wreck. Yeah, that should do it. That's all I really need to do. Build a facility. Build another satellite uplink. I'm going to build it here, because I want the nexus to be next to it. So we'll start that. All right. Now we got to start building more satellites when we get more money. But that should do it for this time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry if it was like a slower kind of uh, less energetic episode. It's just kind of, you know, doing the thing. Doing your thing. Uh, long War's long. <laughs> it's a lot of missions. Uh, I know I kind of probably screwed up that air contact. So now we have only one ship hanging out, which is really bad. Uh, we need to get more planes. We need to get them hooked up with better weaponry, and we'll do that as soon as we can. I appreciate your efforts to Three days, man. The research team commander. I'm pretty psyched. I've oh, I still got heat ammo coming. I forgot. I don't think I recorded that either. That's for a ship, though. That's not special. You can just ignore that. <laughs> but anyway, if you have any tips or tricks or uh, comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.